wish you happy and you know clap your hands. If you're happy and you know clap your hands. If you're happy and you know and you really wanna show. If you're happy and you know clap your hands. If you're happy and you know count your feet. If you're happy and you know, count your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know, count your feet. If you're happy and you know, count away, away. If you're happy and you know, count away, away. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show. If you're happy and you know, show away, away. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got you and me. In his hands, he's got you and me. In his hands, he's got you and me. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the nurses and the doctors. In his hands, he's got the nurses and the doctors. In his hands, he's got the nurses and the doctors. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the little tiny babies in his hands. He's got the little tiny babies in his hands. He's got the little tiny babies in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide, deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide, deep and wide, from his side, from his side, there's a fountain flowing from his side, from his side, from his side, from his side. There's a fountain flowing from his side, from his side. Stand up and tell me if you love my Jesus. Stand up and tell me if you love my Lord. I want to know if you love my Jesus. I want to know if you love my Lord. I love you, you love me, we're a happy family, we're a great big hug and a kiss from me to you, won't you say you love me too? Greetings to the entire members of the body of Christ. Welcome to our Sunday service one more time. I want to bless the Lord for all exalted Christ Jesus who seated at the right hand of God the Father from whence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. And this morning we want to please to salute all the saints and all the visiting friends and e-members that participate in in this service so we want to look to the Lord in prayer even now as we seek the face of the presence of the living God 
our kind and precious God and our Father, in that exalted name, Christ Jesus, we praise you, we worship you, we honor you, we shabak you, we give you the glory, we give you all the praise that due unto thee. Lord, as your servant is about to dispense your word, I pray that the Spirit of God will take preeminence and give utterance and boldness. Oh God, we pray that every principalities and powers will kind of a subjection. Every force of darkness will be scattered and your word will take root. Send a word to your people even now, Lord. Those who are watching and listening this service. We ask in our Lord that you take full control. Let the word of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in your sight as we give you the glory, the praise. And we say thanks to your glory, thanks to your doing, thanks to your promise that you will do. In the exalted name, Christ Jesus, we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Again, bless the Lord for all the saints that are here today. And we lift up your worthy name. God bless you. We want to thank God one more time for all the ministers and all those that participate in this service this day. And so we're going to speak on a subject today. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. When we tap for a moment and look on the word glory, come from the Greek word doxa. It depicts the splendor and the radiances of God. And because there is no other being can declare that glory belongs to them but the Almighty God, the El Shaddai God, the creator and sustainer of the universe. He is the only true God, the absolute one. Therefore then, we want to just get into the word of God to share and the subject to God be the glory. Is that all right? So we notice Paul wrote in the book of Romans chapter 4. The book of Romans chapter 4. And we dissect here from verse 20. Romans chapter 4. And we look from verse 20. And maybe we could just run to verse 19 to see if we could get some gems out of what the word of God is saying here as we go are you ready i'm reading from the king james version and it read like this from the book of romans 4 and verse 19 and being not weak in faith he considered not his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old neither yet the deadness of Sheila whom verse 20 says he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief but was strong in faith strong in faith powerful in faith powerful in believing God and the word of God says giving glory to God giving glory to God when you can give God the glory brother than sister we believe that God will receive it and hear what verse uh, 21 said and being fully persuaded fully persuaded fully convinced fully totality believe the Almighty God and the Bible says that what he had promised, he was able also to perform. Hear what verse 22 says. And therefore, it was imputed to him for righteousness. Here Paul lay out some factors here. And as he laid out the factors and the subject is to God be glory, as I give the Greek word to, for glory, is daxa, depict the radiance and the glory and the splendor of God. 
And there's nothing else that you can go into the depths of God to find because you can see, according to Psalms 19, that the heaven rehearse the glory of God and the fair permanent show forth his handiwork. Therefore, then you can see it with your eyes, but you can't touch it. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Because it is beyond human thoughts or human reason to touch and touch and God glory. So Paul now here, he says, Abraham believed God in the spite of all the circumstances can we just pause there and to say all the circumstances that you might have been going through abraham was steadfast in believing god all the circumstances that come against you church of god friends and members of the body of christ clergy ministers all the circumstances that come against you Hear what the word says. Abraham believed God. In other words, he take God at his word. Yes, Whatever the circumstances, Abraham said, I'm going to hold on to God's word. In spite of, in spite of, I'm holding on. He did not consider the lack of all the versatility and all the hardship. He considered that I'm a hundred years old, but I'm not going to give up because whatever God says is so it go. I don't care what old dark it is, is so it go. And God's word mean yea and amen. amen. Neither did he consider the inability of his 90-year-old wife, my God, to receive or to conceive and withstand the pain of a childbirth. All the adversity that's saying it cannot be done, the word says, Amen, whatever God say, it is so. Therefore, the promises of God is true, and it is always be true. Let the dark clouds come. Let the billows roll. Let the water rise up. Let the wind of doctrine and devils and demons, whatever prince of darkness, bring it on. The word of God is sure. And therefore, adversity circumstances did not stand in the way of Abraham's faith. Mm -hmm. Cannot stand in the faith of a woman of God or a man of God because your faith depict your belief. Yes, Simple as that. Your faith stands strong Hallelujah. in what ever is coming your way i'm ready to take on the challenge i'm ready my god to say god is on my side oh adversity circumstances will not stop me from go forward in my purpose in my plan in my conduct i will not give in or give up because what god says is what he means mm -hmm. therefore abram withstood all the circumstances. And the Bible says, he staggered not. In other words, he did not faint-hearted. He did not quit. He did not get cold feet because of the circumstances. I'm not staggering. I'm holding my head straight. I'm focusing on God in what his word says. I will not Quick. I will not quake. Ah, the pressure that came down on me. I'm going to stand sure upon the word of God. Abraham did not stagger, not at the promise of God. The word translates staggered from the Greek word, it do karamia. It means to separate, is distinguished, and quarrel, and groan, and travail, and despondent, and rejected, and despise. Abraham did not despise what the word says, nor reject what the word says, nor give up on what the word says. He hold to the word of God. I will not stagger at what God says. I will believe God in whatever the circumstances. It means that Abraham is gushing out faith in God. Gush out your faith, my brother. Gush out your faith, my sister. It looked dark, but pastor, I, it, I, I can't make it. Oh, yes, you can make it because you're not going to stagger because the glory belongs to God and God will not share his glory. Abraham says, I'm going to hold on to the promises of God. Oh, yes, and believe will come, but I'm going to hold on. I'm not going to stagger uh -huh, of God through and believe, but was strong. Listen to the word. Word was strong in faith. 
Pause right there. Strong in faith. It means that nothing could not move Abraham. Nothing could shake Abraham. Nothing could discourage Abraham. Nothing could make Abraham quail and give in and give up. No way, Jose. Abraham did not faint hearted. Abraham did not stagger. Abraham was strong in faith. He need nothing else but to keep his faith. Nothing could divide Abraham from believing God. Nothing could stop his mind from hold on to the promises of what God says. Abraham hold tight on the word. Hallelujah, like that part. Hold on, my child. The glory belongs to God. The face that the things that you face today, you can't face it tomorrow again because yesterday gone. Oh my God, and God is in control. Despite of the circumstances, despite of the problem, despite of all it, to God be the glory. He encouraged you to say great things he has done. Look at some of the great things that God has done for this great man of God. Number one, when we look and but was strong in faith and giving glory to God. To God be the glory, Abraham said, hallelujah to the most high God. Praises to the most high God. I'm holding on to what he says. I cannot stagger. Abraham might question what is happening, but the man of God was strong in faith as opposed to any weakness. Abraham was strong in faith opposed to any obstacles, opposed to any principalities and powers and sovereignties and authority because sometimes doubt come your way as a preacher and a teacher or a man of God or a woman of God. Doubt will come your way. But somehow you just need to draw a word out of God Bible, Amen. out of the word of God and say, my faith look up to thee, O Lord of God. Savior! Oh my God. Abraham faith was strong in that God. Believe, he believed God and he hold on to what God said. Above all the circumstances, above all the troubles and trials, Abraham faith was great and can be greater when we take God at his word. To God be the glory. Great things. Great things. Oh yes. We see verse 21 said, and being fully, I want you to look at the word fully, pluma, totality of what God's word says. Fully, word persuaded, Abraham was totally, fully persuaded that what he had promised he was able also to perform. Can we pause a little bit to look and the performance of what happened here. We know that Sarah uh, hey, passed the age and bring forth a child. But if God says you're going to have a child, Sarah is a yes. Even though Sarah laughed. Oh, and Isaac mean laughter. But that did not stop the promises of God. So we can say to God be the glory. Great things is done for Sarah. Hallelujah. When Sarah see and hear what the angel said, <laughs> that did not stop the purpose of God. Even though you laugh, it did not change the circumstances. Neither can it change the plan of God, the purpose of God, and the will of God, and the consummation of God. I said, brother, it can't change because the Bible says the purpose of God stands sure and it have on the seal. The Lord know it them that are is and are called according to his plan, his purpose, his will, his counsel and plan. So Isaac must come because of the purpose of God and the plan of God. So to God be the glory because his word, he glorifies word above his name. That means whatever the word come out of God's mouth, it can return unto him void. It must accomplish that which he sent it for. Therefore, whatever the word said here, it will come to pass. 
And when it come into pass, you got to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, blessed God, for your glory. Thank Hallelujah. you for your blessing. Thank you for all that you are doing. Thank you for what thank you will God. be doing. Although it darkens uh, Sarah's side, darkens Abraham's side. We have the psychologists and all the medical expertise say that's done with. But God did not say it done. God said, just begin, Sarah. You will have a child. And the child must come to pass. Must come, must My come, God. Abraham was not just wistfully hoping that God uh, will make a way somehow. Oh, no, sir. Abraham believed that God will uh, come through because he said it and he mean it and he can't return. It must accomplish. Must that come. seal the deal. It closed the deal. You can't stop what God says. Who am I to stop what God says? It looked despondent. It looked discouraging. It looked like there is no way out. That's why I see her laugh. How oh, can this be? But hear what happened when Abraham's note got faith. And being fully, the totality persuaded, convinced that it must come to pass. What he has promised, he was able to. To do it, and not only to do it, but to perform it, and not only to perform it, but to accomplish it. He done it, and he will do it again and again and again. Therefore, he was able to perform it, and therefore, if it was imputed to him for righteousness, the circumstances now, Abraham begin to rejoice in the righteousness of God. Because when God said, I will do it, is amen. And if God said, it's done, it's done. You can't question God. So when we look at the greatness of God's glory and things that he have done, number one, we can go all the way back to Genesis to show our God powerful. <laughs> Now I want to breathe in man the breath of life. Mm. So therefore, that's great things he has done for mankind. Right. Number two, he make man start move. Physically move. Mm. Hallelujah. That's great things he has done. And I just want to run it fast. He protect us from all the onslaught of the wicked yes, one. That's does. why Jesus said in John chapter 10 and verse 10, he said, I come. I come that you might have life. Watch the word have life. When you have life, you have the superiority of everything now because life is God. Amen. The source of God is life, breath, and intelligence. Therefore, you are a part of God when you have life. And God protect us from all the unslaughter. That's why Abraham did not stagger. Church of God, members of the body of Christ, don't stagger at the word of God because the word of God is sure, a quick and sharper than any two-edged sword. Don't quit in and quit and give up on God. What God is saying here, he said to Abraham in verse 20, we reverse a little bit, he staggered not at the promise of God. He staggered not at the word of God. He staggered not at what God says because he believed God and he take God at his word. Amen. And when you can take God at his word, you are a force to reckon with. Abraham hold to his faith. Abraham hold on to the word of God. Abraham did not quit and give in. When we consider the plan of God, you can't change it. No, sir. Isaac must come. That's right. Amen. And because Isaac must come, Therefore, I say to you, to God, be the glory. Great things he has done. Members of the body of Christ, I charge you and challenge you before God the Father Almighty, from who shall come to judge the living and the dead, that you take God at his word and never quit and give in. Whatever God declare in the book here, it is amen, it finished. Whatever God says, it finished and done with. So therefore, to God be the glory. Great things. It would take me a year, two years to get into the great things that you have done. And if I should call one number testimony to this stand, 
we could just call a great old soldier. When we look at a man named Gideon, was shredding out corn and it is wheat, hiding from the Midianites. And the Bible says, the angel of the Lord showed up and said, Oh, mighty man of valor. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, Gideon declared, Me, I am the least of my family calling me mighty man of valor. Because sometimes the greatness that dwells within you, mm -hmm. you of yourself cannot see it. Because Gideon not even seen himself as a great mighty man of valor. No, sir, he seen himself as a crawling peg, uh, hiding from the Midianites, shirking out his wheat just for survive against the Midianites. But when God declared that you are great and you are mighty man of valor, it's sealed and done with. Gideon, you are the one who's going to deliver Israel. And because you are the one that God chosen, it is to God be the glory. And look at the great manifestation, supernatural power that God has done. Gideon tried to help and say, well, all right, God, I have to go get an army. <laughs> and pick on about 300 men. God says that too much, Gideon. And Gideon might have said, God, what do you want me to do when the Midian has, to have so much hundreds of men? God says, that's not the problem, Gideon. You want to prove to you? Take them down to the water broker mm. and give them the test. And listen to me, when you finish with them, you're going to have less. Mm. To God be the glory. Imagine what God has done with what he has given to Gideon. And Gideon become a force to reckon with. Whatever God says, do it. And do it without question. That's right. To God be the glory. Today is our first Sunday. And we're going to have our Holy Communion. Our Holy Communion as the scripture declares. As the scripture declare, as the scripture declare. Amen. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Hallelujah. And when we read from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, we find that Paul states something great in that verse. He said in the same, whatever I receive from the Lord mm -hmm. is that I give unto you. Right. That in the same night he took bread. And break it when he gives thanks. He said, this bread is a broken body. And you're going to eat. So today, I'm saying to every believer that are watching us, we are inviting you to partake of our Holy Communion. It's recorded in the Bible that we should do it as often as possible. And I feel to read the scripture that we might understand what the Word of God says first. Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 23. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 23. Are you there? Are you there? 1 Corinthians chapter 11, 23. Believer, this is for believer of the body of Christ, called by God, chosen by God, sanctified by God, and this is what the scripture says. Amen. Amen. Because of the Holy Scripture, hear what it says. For I, notice the word Paul is writing. For I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver. Mm -hmm. So Paul is as a messenger delivering what he received from the Lord. And hear what the word says. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. Get your emblems. Took bread. So I'm inviting every member of the body of Christ. Get your emblem. Get something bread or some juice or whatever you think would be holy and acceptable. And we're going to bless it and we're going to consecrate it and we're going to go into our holy Eucharist. Eucharist. In verse 24 said, and when he had given thanks, notice he has given thanks. He had already blessed it. He break it and said, take it. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in 
remembrance. This do in recollection. Recollection. Notice the word of me. This is the significance of the vicarious suffering and the character and conduct of the one who suffered and died. Follow me. After the same man, also he took the cup or the chalice. When he had supped, saying, This cup is a new testament. Oh, in my blood. This do he, as oft as he drink it in recollection or remembrance of me. For this, for as often he as he eat this bread and drink this cup, he show the Lord death till he come. This is critical. Wherefore, no, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord and worthy <laughs> shall be guilty as charge of the body and notice again and the blood of the law but let a man examine, examine himself hmm. the word examine means search diagnose look wherever the hidden parts where i will hide what the bible says let a man examine Hallelujah. himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. We gonna raise Search me, Lord. the emblem and bless the emblem as we do this in recollection. Notice I have the chalice here and I have the Eucharist. So therefore then, we're going to just raise the emblem and we're going to bless it. Search me, Lord. As I hold in my hand, the Holy Communion, the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, let us usher our heart as we look to the Lord in prayer. Saints, wherever he is, get your emblem, get your cup, get your bread, and we're going to bless it. Father, we thank you for dying for us. Hallelujah. We thank you for paying the price for us. Here is your body. We raise it before you even now and we ask you to God to consecrate this emblem. Lord, turn whatever this into, into your body. In the name of Jesus, we ask you, breathe on this token, Lord. Let it be consecrated now. Every hand that hung it, Lord, Hallelujah. your hands now will touch it and consecrate Thank it. The In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for consecrating it even now. We bless it now Hallelujah. and raise it to you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the blessed Holy Spirit. As I'm about to invite all the saints with their token that hold the body of our Lord Jesus Christ in your hand. Now, according to the scripture, after the same manner, he took bread and he gave thanks break it and said eat i'm inviting all the saints at this time to eat of the body of our lord jesus christ in jesus name thank you jesus hallelujah Oh, stammering tongue. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Four lips means tongue, green tongue, and milk. Eat. I hold in my hand the cup. 
And the Bible says in verse 25 of 1 Corinthians 11, After the same man he also he took the cup, when he had sucked, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do he as oft as he drink it in remembrance of me. Uh, inviting all the believer of the body of Christ. By the say, took the cup. And when you have some, invite you to drink of the Lord blood in Jesus' name. We want to just look to the Lord and give him thanks for the Holy Communion, the Holy Eucharist that was taking place in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for your Holy Communion that we participate in. Lord, we ask you even now, Lord, if anything that are in the body might affect the body, this holy communion, oh, this holy communion, we can flush every circumstances, every hindrances, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we come against disability feelings in the body because you said we will eat of your body and drink of your body. Oh God, it make us become power and strong in faith, believing you tonight. Lord, we praise you and bless you even now. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Blessed Holy Spirit. Thank you all my brethren and friends of the body of Christ that we do so in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Hello my brothers and sisters and friends. We want to thank you for all that you are doing and giving to this ministry. And I'm saying to you this day, please go and cash up. Those who are near and far, you can even send in your tithes and offering to Gospel Way. Write your check. And if you feel like send it out, drop it off, it's all in your hands. Give unto the Lord as he prosper you and bless you. So I'm inviting you to participate in giving. We have a great task in ahead of us. Our building fund, our repair fund, our taking care of community outreach. And so we are depending on you to help push the ministry, help do the work as an evangelist. And you can make full proof of your calling, your ministry. Because when you do God's work, it shows that you are a part of God's work. And so go and cash up. Dollar sign. Gospel Way Church. God bless you as you participate in taking care of God's work. Now may grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with us now and forth forevermore. God bless you. Amen and amen.